I'm now going to demonstrate the placement of the 110 HM series catheters. These catheters are fiber optic ventricularly bolted catheters. The 1104HM catheter allows for pressure monitoring and CSF drainage. The 1104HMT catheter allows for pressure monitoring, CSF drainage, and temperature monitoring. Both of these catheters are placed in the same manner. So inside of the 1104HM kit, what you'll find is the fiber optic catheter, the bolt, the drill bit, the hex wrench, the zeroing tool, and additional cap for stopping the flow of CSF. And also, I'm, I'm not going to wear gloves or a hat or a mask, but of course this would be done under sterile procedure in a hospital setting. So the first thing you would need to do is prep the patient like you normally would, uh, finding the location that you want to place the catheter itself. You would do an incision through the scalp, and then you'd need to make a burr hole that's appropriate size for the bolt. So let's get the drill bit out. This bit is the appropriate size for the bolt. So the bit in the kit will make the bolt fit. And we'll need to use the hex wrench to get this depth stopper out of the way. But I'm going to take this drill bit and I, I would attach it into a hand drill to create the burr hole. But for demonstration purposes, I've already created the hole for you. So now we want to access the ventricles using the bolted system uh, that has the ventricular catheter attached. And you can change the depth of your ventricular catheter by loosening this compression cap and pulling back. So I can set it at five centimeters, six centimeters, or seven centimeters. So I like the six centimeter depth here. So I'm gonna tighten the compression cap. Now I'm going to access the ventricle through the burr hole. I need to make sure I have the correct trajectory. And where I'm going to look for CSF fluid will be here. I should be able to see this at the back of the stylet. Once I know I have CSF, I can remove my stylet and tighten the bolt into the skull. I'm going to go ahead and place a cap to stop the flow of CSF while I zero the fiber optic catheter. using the zeroing tool. And once the fiber optic catheter is zeroed, then I can place the fiber optic catheter into place. So I'll loosen the cap. Place the fiber optic catheter. Lure connect that on. And then I'm just going to slide the strain relief sheath down for additional security. And your catheter is placed. So now we just need to connect this up to the appropriate monitors. So we want to connect the fiber optic catheter to the Camino. It's going to initialize, and then we're going to wait for an ICP value and a waveform to show up. And then the other port on the catheter is what we're going to connect up to the CSF collection device. Okay. And that concludes the insertion of a 1104HM or 1104HMT catheter.